Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Colleen and in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my jewelry collection. Everybody's jewelry kind of tells a story, so I wanted to show you guys my collection and I think jewelry is just the easiest way to accessorize an outfit, whether it's a very basic outfit or whatever it is i love wearing jewelry so if you guys are interested in seeing my jewelry collection then just keep watching in my jewelry collection i have a lot of rings actually don't have a lot of rings <laughs> i have a lot of earrings so i think what i'll start off with is some of the basic pieces that i wear every day so for anybody who knows me i am always wearing this gold ring right here i think i'm going to show you guys some close-ups of every single piece so you guys kind of get an idea of what it looks like so this piece right here this is just a very simple little ring and it's actually my mom's it does hold a lot of sentimental value um, which i won't really get into because it is a more personal story it's like my good luck ring if I don't have it on then I feel really really off it's like the energy I don't know but um, it's probably one of my favorite rings and I like stacking it with a lot of things but I never take it off I definitely think everybody has that one piece that they wear all the time so this is mine um, and I really love it so the next thing that I always 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 have on is a necklace this one is my everyday necklace this chain is actually one that i wear with different pendants and a lot of you guys ask me like where i get this necklace that necklace it's the same chain just a different pendant but i'll show you guys other pendants that i have in a second but this one is the one that i wear most of the time um i wear a cross because of my beliefs it's a really nice simple cross it's nothing too crazy i think a family member gave it to me so the next one is the earrings that i always have on these are the anna luisa um, venus hoop this is the perfect earring for every day because it's the perfect size and it's one of those where it's noticeable but not too crazy and over the top so i personally like wearing smaller hoops like this on my ears every day but sometimes i'll switch it up with like a bigger one which i'll show you guys in a second if you guys want to use a discount i have a discount code with anna luisa which is colleen 10 you can get 10 percent off at checkout and yeah so i'll link it in the description box so you guys can look forward to using that at the end of this video moving on with some other pieces that i have in my collection so these hoops are a little bit different for me because I never ever wear big hoops. I feel like they just don't really flatter me because my face is really, really round. So I usually like to go for smaller hoops and things like that. But these ones are an exception because I feel like they're the perfect width that it doesn't really accentuate the face shape. So I also like wearing them when my hair is up. I feel like it just gives a very clean but classy chic look. So this is the one that everybody asks me about. And I can agree with you, these are probably my favorite hoops as well. But these ones are on the more affordable side. I definitely recommend Oakenfort jewelry. A lot of the trendier pieces I get are from Oakenfort. The only thing I can really say is to just try and avoid not putting it in water. Um, so like taking them off and remembering to take them off before you shower or take a bath. Um, even when you're sleeping, I feel like it can really tarnish, you know, the plating that it is. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a very reckless sleeper, so I just move like no tomorrow in my sleep. I can try to find you guys like a similar pair of earrings and I'll link them in the description box because I know they don't have these ones in particular anymore. The next pair is also again from Oakenfort and these ones, it kind of has a three hoop type of situation going on. It's a little bit heavy, I will say that, um, but you are paying for what you get. I've had these earrings for, I want to say like two three years so that is why the um earring backing is a little bit tarnished um but it's completely fine i think these were like 20 dollars at most and that's usually at the price point with oakenfort jewelry but i really do love these earrings now the next earring these are from ana luisa these are the she said yes who basically this one just hugs your earlobe they're just a very petite little earring which i'll show you guys in the try on portion they just give such an elegant look to your outfit i think these earrings will just jazz it up a little bit so i really like this one i only have one other ring i really do want to get on the ring trend but if you guys can just tell by my hands i have really small hands and my fingers are really really skinty okay i found one but i can't find it in my house right now 
This one is the rope ring from Ana Luisa again. You guys have seen it in all of my product photos on my Instagram or even in some of my videos. When I'm trying to look for more rings to stack and things like that, I'm a size four or four and a half um, for my ring finger. And then my other fingers are, I think five. So it's a little bit difficult to find rings that fit me. I can't find it. I'll show you guys a photo of it. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys is one of my other pendants. So this one is the one that says Colleen on a little dog tag shaped as a heart. This one my mom got custom made because she was really inspired by the Tiffany one that, you know, the infamous Tiffany locket. I think for my graduation, my mom went out and made me this little charm. It was actually on a bracelet, but the bracelet broke while I was working and I accidentally like jammed it into one of the drawers but um we made it into just taking the charm off and then using it as a pendant on my necklace i think this is something that a lot of you guys ask about i could come out with a jewelry line one day and have this little idea and then you guys can get your name customed that would be so cute wouldn't it but for the meantime unfortunately i don't really have a link for this one if I did, I definitely would link it in the description box for you guys. But again, if I can find something similar, I will link it. This one my boyfriend actually got me. So this one is a Tiffany necklace. It is from Elsa Peretti. I think it was like a collection of hers where she had like different sized beans. I got the smallest one because I, again, really like just dainty, cuter pieces that are very small and minimal. They do have bigger ones, which are a little bit more expensive too. So I was kind of glad that this one wasn't as expensive. The next... Thing that i have right here is an anna luisa necklace again they are just so kind the customer service just everything in general and the quality that you're paying for is really really great so this one is just a butterfly necklace it's an adjustable necklace so you can put the loop onto three different lengths so you can do it a little bit shorter a little bit longer um, and i really like how petite the pendant is hey okay, guys we are on the last piece here this one is a majority piece and it is a spheres anklet one and only anklet that i have i would really like to get another one so that i can stack them all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video comment down below your favorite jewelry piece and why it's your staple piece maybe it's a sentimental piece thank you so so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye